Hello, welcome back to Manage Live Learning. In this episode, I want to talk about this uh, node tools in Blender 4.0 geometry nodes. So basically, I watched uh, this whole video of Hans and Pablo talking about uh, Blender 4.0 node tools where you can use geometry nodes as tool. And there's a few functions that I really like, like for example, this uh, ability to create Voronoi pattern as a face set and ability to store and reload it, uh, reload the face set as a, as a vertex point data that you can load it into, into a geometry and then using it to create uh, lines, edges. Okay, I, I actually, yeah, I follow the whole video and then try to recreate it myself. And I end up with this, this kind of uh, rope binding techniques in Japan is called shibari, shibari art of uh, rope binding. Um, anyhow, so let's let's take a look. So in order to create this, let's get rid of this daughter, the monkey head. We can keep the monkey head or just start from scratch. Uh, so basically. There might seem to be nothing currently in the 3D scene. I mean, uh, with geometry nodes, uh, we know there's this modifier and tool mode. And you can see here we already have push face set and shibari rope. Uh, we have to start with the tool first. With the tool, uh, geometry nodes, we have Voronoi and store face set. They are all important. The setup is really simple. I, I got this from Pablo and Hans node setup example. The Foronoi me basically generate face set automatically uh, using geometry nodes. So let's take a look actually. Let's save this this demo. So face set, if you don't know already, face set work in sculpt mode. And geometry nodes tool can work in edit and sculpt mode so first of all sculpt mode if we get into sculpt mode and we want to we want to play around with the face set let's take a look at the tool normally we use this and simply paint it paint on it uh, we probably need more subdivisions so let's go up Shade smooth, right click, convert to. Oh, I I, I use command control one two, just to subdivide, and then I just gonna convert it into mesh. So back to sculpt mode. You can see it still keep the face set, which is kind of cool. So face set tool. I really like face set tool, and sometimes I just do this uh, when I'm bored. Uh, Kind of like meditational stuff whenever you click you're gonna create new color and you can paint face sets it's really cool the more you paint on it the more it's uh <laughs> you're kind of enjoying it uh if you don't if you want to keep the same color you hold down hold the shift and eh, no. option you eh, know control control if you hold control and then you paint out it's using that same color if you want to keep that color you know what i mean and it, if you just click click it's gonna creating this pattern and then that look it looks like a photonoi on the surface right yeah i just like doing this and then if you hold shift you kind of relax the area right uh yeah all that cool stuff uh mass filter relax face set actually mass filter there's this option relax face set actually doing it everything so it's got smooth area it's this it looks this more uh, looks more like a mass grave texture not for you can try mass grave here instead of for try mass grave you're gonna get mass grave pattern but the idea here is that you can use this pattern you can save it so currently you see the, at the attribute there's nothing so the idea here is to use the setup the tool that we created to do the photonoid or 
store face that should I, should I do the foronoi? I do the foronoi first. So see with the foronoi, you actually get the foronoi pattern on the fly without you actually need to paint it yourself. And then you can relax. You can relax it. So it's just kind of cool in itself. And that's because we have this ability with Blender 4.0. So let's try to reiterate this. Pablo and Hans already talked about this. Set face set. This is the node that's responsible for it. Uh, this one generate the foronoid texture. We add this. Uh, we just add the factor position into whatever we. This is the parameter to change the foronoid, and then this is the foronoid pattern that we use. You can play around with that I believe you also have Musgrave texture so you can you can really use this you know and pass it in uh, we use the white noise texture to get a random color and then multiply by 10,000 maybe we don't need this high of value but anyway it works so we, we got this photo noise you see these attributes we, we need a way to store this so we can send it into geometry nodes to do the rest of the stuff. So we did use the Voronoi Mi, right? Now we want to store the face set. Store the face set. It's going to store the face set as face set attributes under face as integer. So let's take a look. Okay, this is the, this is the tool that Hans and Pablo show. Geometry, the name, with the name, make sure you, you have the default face set and then if your face set data existed store it into integer under face which is pretty cool because now we can we can jump into this modifier and make the like the rope stuff so back to object mode we can't see anything but we already have the data so we can use the we can use geometry nodes create Geometry nodes. Use the push face set now. Okay, it's pushing the stuff. <laughs> it's pushing it based on the name attribute face set here. Multiply by 0 0.0001. I, it's, I think it's normalizing the value anyway. And then I just remap it into a range. I actually don't need this. I don't think yeah, it's just does not do anything. Multiplier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pushing and pulling based on the color value that's coming from the face set that we have earlier. Normally, we cannot do this, but in Blender 4.0, it's easier. It's pushing this guy using the normal and then multiply add with this value. So we get that. So it's like, yeah, it's being forced. It's being bind by the rope. We don't have the rope yet. So we need to have another modifier, geometry nodes, shibari rope. Shibari rope, suddenly we have the rope. Okay, it's very weird. Suddenly it just works. So the, the red and the skin. I just like to put the material with this guy, the skin color. Oh, any color, green, alien green. The shader is also changed in Blender 4.0. We actually have this really interesting subsurface it seems to work differently than before but I let you play around with this anyhow it seems to be more subtle okay so we have like a skin like donuts with the Sibari type of ropes let's take a look at the rope so the rope is also a node set up from Hans and Pablo Hans talk about it there's a, the rope part is actually simple enough. I could try to memorize it and recreate, but better to understand it. So the face set first, we get the face set and then there's, we can get the face set group boundaries. The boundaries give you the edge selections that, so if you, if you, you have geometry and you mess to curve it, it's become like curve edge right and you get you can get that selections to get that curve that made up 
the the area of face set. That's, so that's basically what's happening here. It seems to be really simple. Let's see. What's, nah, nah. Um, and then the next thing we do, set position, blur the attributes based on, okay. Select the endpoints, keep the endpoints, but but blur blur it, blur the rope a little bit. Maybe not too much. Maybe just blur it. So uh, originally the face set might be jagged like that, jagged, yeah, smooth. It. Not too much. Maybe I need to push it out, but I think this is the full effect. So it's kind of nice like that. The rest of them is just curve to mesh, and then you you can control the the thickness of the rope. I mean the rope itself is not particularly interesting at the moment we probably need another geometry nodes to turn this into a real rope you know twist it uh, but we get the basic idea and you can memorize this oh yeah by the way with, with all these tools make sure you have this stick on top of it otherwise it might disappear if you get out of Blender and then you remove the geometry, this node without the tick will disappear. This is to, this is, it's called fake user. Save this data block even if, if it has no user or connections. So yeah, we got the whole thing. We got the skin, uh, we got the ropes and it's pretty tight and we, okay, the iterations. Yeah, just I can control the, the thickness there. This is the value of the skin being tightly bind, bound in, uh, by the rope. Okay, so it's really weird. It's a, it's kind of symbolic in in Japanese culture. There's a lot of this kind of thing that I don't understand it hundred percent, but. It's interesting. Okay, uh, cycle is better. Well, where is the light? Yeah, it's kind of symbolic. You you know you, you resist your the skin resisting the the rope. That's basically what it is. So, yeah, the whole process once again. Uh, if you use the monkey head. The process becomes super simple. So in the scalp mode, we get a tool here, Voronoi me. Okay, not very interesting. I mean, I need to apply the subdivision first. Scalp mode once again, because we are in the tool mode, we have this ability to Voronoi me. Let's use the mask grave actually. Mask grave. What's happened if we use the mask grave and then rerun the tool? Mask grief. Why is it not doing? Maybe this is too strong. Oh. Okay. Mask grief scale. Maybe we need to reduce this value. Ah, interesting, you know, this keeps changing value, give it 100 or 10. Now we get something that's completely different. Musgrave like. I, mean, I guess we need to play around with this, but you know we get a different pattern, and then we can we can relax it. See, I'm relaxing it using this tool inside the sculpt tool. 
and then we're gonna store it. Store the face set on the monkey. Monkey now have a face set. And monkey, select this guy, link the modifier. Oops. Select this guy, select this guy. Ah, okay. Monkey got rope now. Select the geometry nodes, okay. Back to geometry nodes modifier, push, pushing and pulling. Oh, okay, the second one. Anyway, the rope. Can control the rope. I don't know why the monkey get bigger. But we got the effects translated. It's different. If it's not Foronoi, we get different pattern, but yeah, you got the idea. The Foronoi looks more like Sibari art. It's all this intertwined rope. But I, I really like the effects anyway. It's, you know, super basic, but whatever. But because of the geometry nodes now can work as a tool inside Sculpt and edit mode, we can create these effects quite easily. So it's a, it's very interesting how it works. And then you have to understand some of the stuff that uh, Pablo and Hans didn't talk about, but I, I try to cover that. Watch this video anyway, I'll give you in the link below this video. Hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.